So folks, what you are going to see is the one touchless lending platform. So think about this. When you originate, there will be a cohort of loans, or you know, I mean, certain set of loans, pool of loans, which can be into your state through processing. Right? Imagine the moment the loan has been submitted. Before any user can pick up the loan, let it be the processor, let it be the underwriter. Imagine if you are able to automate the process for them, and they will be able to make informed decision, and they will be able to process the loan. Right? So that's touchless lending, where it will completely transform your middle office process. We are agnostic of the LOS. We are agnostic of the POS. Let it be whatever LOS or POS. You will be able to integrate this platform directly into your manufacturing process and automate your complete loan manufacturing life cycle. So this is where touchless plays a very critical role in processing and underwriting. I'm focusing in processing and underwriting today, but it gets extends beyond closing and funding also. So on processing and underwriting, the moment the loan has been submitted, we will automatically evaluate the loan file to ensure the required documents are available, automatically do the OCR, data extraction, identify the loan program, the investor of choice, and then identify what are all the rules and requirements to satisfy the investor requirement. Basically, if it is an agency loan, run DULP. If it is a non-portfolio uh, uh, product or a non-QM product, run investor-specific guidelines and automated AUS underwriting system. And then validate the conditions, right, what it is needed. You need to verify your income, asset, credit, collateral, all those things will be automated, verified, conditions will be created, conditions will be satisfied, and then it is clear to close. Imagine all those things are happening before the user even picks up the loan, right? Now, let's see a live demonstration. This is the touchless lending platform, which will automatically underwrite the loan based on the milestone, based on the stage, it will automatically calculate income, derive income, self-employed or wage earner or any type of income. It will auto-calculate, determine what is the income based on the guidelines, and then present it to the user. Now, along with the income, it will automatically underwrite your appraisal report. It will review the appraisal report, ensure that guideline-specific changes are available. It, will, it also uses AI and machine learning to determine the images, we use computer vision to determine if there is any anomalies in the image. We will read through the appraiser comments to determine you know, positivity or any neutrality within the statement and provide conditions and next steps on the collateral, which is the appraisal report. Similarly, it will automatically evaluate your credit report to determine what is there on the credit report, the trade lines which can be included, trade lines which can be excluded. It will automatically provide you the warnings which you need to focus on credit report. Imagine if it is a three borrower loan file and multiple pages of credit report. It will streamline your process and it will determine all the trade lines which is needed and provide you the warnings what you need to focus on. Your users can acknowledge these warnings to ensure that you know the sanity of the file, and it will determine, it will calculate the ratios based on the income which has been calculated, based on the ratios which has been derived, and you will be able to include, exclude liabilities, add transaction, remove transaction. It will also validate borrower-specific information, what is available in the loan file, and then provide you the certainty that information which is stated within the loan application versus what is available in the credit report all are matching, right? And eventually, it will create all the list of conditions, what it is needed to verify and validate based on the credit report. Every process area within touchless lending, from documents, from decision, income, asset, credit, collateral, all these process areas will create lender-specific conditions along with the GSC specific conditions, right? And then we have the condition management, which will ensure all the conditions which have been created has been automatically satisfied. Along with this, one unique character about our decision analysis is it will give you the flexibility to automatically run the investor of choice 
use those requirements, validate if the same loan file can be cross-selled to any of the investor, fungible loans. It will ensure all the conditions which is needed are in common for both the investor and create those conditions and ensure you have a sellable loan across investor to maximize your profitability. Right? That's the need of the R. How do I manage, how do I maintain, and how do I bring efficiency into the process? It also provides you a dynamic document checklist which will help your loan officer, your processor, whomever they are talking to the borrowers, they will be aware of what documents it is needed, what process it is needed. Right? And the best thing is it gets integrated into your platform, so that means any milestone any loan devil data changes, it will automatically rerun the process to ensure that if there is a change in the income, it will automatically rerun income services. If there is a change in your you know, uh, credit, or if there is a change in your asset, it will automatically validate the asset-specific services. It will read through bank statements, OCR, and then it will extract the data. It will run through to understand what are the what is the required funds to be closing, uh, whether they have you know, acceptable deposits, transactions to be included and excluded. It does the complete analysis of your loan package and keeps the file ready for clear to close. Now, one of the features what we are bringing with inducing AI into our processes, the collateral analysis where we will read through and validate the subject property images along with the uh, um, comparables to ensure the comps are matching and the pictures what you see, any anomalies in the picture, or even the appraiser sentiment. What is there in the appraisal report? What does the appraiser perspective, right? What needs to be done? What are the follow-ups to be created? Based on the investor-specific requirements, which is completely configurable, you will be able to add lender-specific overlays on top of it, then it will give you complete package of lender plus the investor specific overlays and it creates the conditions. All these conditions are routed through our condition management process which will ensure the steps needed to decompose the condition, who is responsible for providing those documents, validating the documents through our document uh, OCR engine services. It will evaluate all the documents needed are available, and it will validate if it is per the investor requirement and satisfy the condition. We also have the data consistency check, which will ensure all the documents which are required needed, validate the data which is available across these documents to provide a complete loan level audit. That's the complete touchless solution offering. It goes seamlessly connects with your POS, with your LOS. You will be able to invoke this service directly from the, your uh, touchless lending uh, application. This is a system, this is a platform which has been built for processors, underwriters, or anyone in the middle office, right? So it's a system built by users who are using the platform. And all these things comes as form of data also, so that it will ensure that your system of record is the complete system of record to ensure that all the data and document goes back into your system to ensure if you have to validate or you know cross to any audits across the platform. And finally, this platform is completely agnostic. Any, any browser or you know, I mean, portable, any device, you will be able to access the platform, instantly run, determine reports, and then even though when the user is there or not there, it will pick up those loans which are ready for processing and create one loan data report, which is, which is going to tell the lender what is the focus area, which, which documents need to be provided, and how you can completely automate the process. Ladies and gentlemen, that's touchless lending. Thanks, everyone.